Casting is such an integral part of what makes television and movies so great. The Casting Society of America every year recognizes the best casting directors through their Artius Awards, and tonight we're on the red carpet at this incredible gala. We'll be speaking with all the stars in attendance, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cates. So Jeff Daniels, CSA. How important is casting and what they do to make great movies and television? Uh, casting direct, they were key to my career. They're the key to any actor, or particularly young actor's career. They're the people that find you and believe in you first, before or after your agent, but very, very early. And they keep sending you up if they like you. And Juliet Taylor and Lynn Stallmaster and Bonnie Timmerman are just a few of the people here that that uh, believed in me early, and you need those people. Do you remember starting out how casting directors were able to influence your career? Mary Cahoon. Mary Cahoon is gone now. And when I came to New York, uh, I had a general audition with her, uh, just doing some monologues. She brought me back to read for uh, a new Chris Durang play called Beyond Therapy. And it was my Broadway debut. It was my first job in New York, and uh, I owe so much to her because she, you know, I'm I'm sure I was not that good, but she saw something, and uh, I'll always be grateful to her for that. How important is it to cast correctly? I mean, how hard is the CSA's job? The people doing this job? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, I don't. As somebody who's not a casting director, but who knows a lot of casting directors and as, is friends with a lot of casting directors, and having been in casting sessions uh, for things I've produced or just, you know, for fun, because I have uh, casting director friends who are like, hey, you know, would you mind coming and reading? Uh, it's an incredible, an incredibly difficult job. Um, there's a ton of talent out there, but not all talent all works together. It's you know, it's really kind of forming a puzzle or a mosaic, almost trying to figure out what. Uh, actors work with what other actors and will work with a certain director and with the material so there's a lot that goes into it I think a lot that a lot of people don't understand and it's kind of unsung so it's nice that uh, you know the CSA is able to have something like this to honor those cast directors and say thank you for such incredible work that you've done your thoughts on diversity in Hollywood it's a topic of the month right now what are your thoughts what more needs to be done yeah I mean look the industry's come a long way obviously in the last 10 or 15 years but as evidenced by the last two weeks there's still a uh, leaps and bounds that it needs to achieve. I think the bottom line from from audiences, our audiences are willing to uh, accept characters that they haven't seen before in really compelling roles. And that's something that I think that the executive level of Hollywood is a little slow to recognize. You see that when they do that, the shows and movies that they actually cast colorblind do extremely well, right? So uh, Grey's Anatomy or uh, a lot of the comedies that have been coming out recently. You look at something like Bridesmaids, which you know not a lot of people of color, but really breaks the model for women. Uh, and that kind of stuff does really well. So I hope uh, I hope the moneymaker guys sort of look at this and say, not just for the shame value, which I totally stand behind, obviously, but but it's you know for for, uh, for the uh, good business and good art. I think it, it's helpful to to be as diverse as possible. What are your thoughts on what's going on with the Oscars? And how do we improve what's happening right now? We have to get behind the table. We have to be on the voting committee. We have to have production companies that produce movies that are foreign about people of. Uh, a multitude of colors and uh, I think that will start to make the Titanic turn around but obviously something's got to give and uh, it's unfortunate not to take away from any of the nominees but um, I mean it's 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 a, is it a surprise I mean is it really a surprise so and unfortunately it's not a surprise and that's what's sad about it. Casting is such an underappreciated mechanism that makes everything great how important is it to get casting right and anything that's done in Hollywood. Well, it's essential to anything being excellent, uh, and it's an art form. And people who do it well make it look easy. And uh, you know, there's a lot that goes into making something come alive. And uh, they make a huge, huge job much simpler for those people who who who, who need that keen eye. Talk to me about what casting means to getting the project right. 
Well, in my experience, like a as an actor, you want to think that you could take any note and play any part, and the reality is it's somewhere between that and just like somebody's right for that job, you know, and the casting director hopefully has an eye for, for who that is, and, and I don't know whether that actor can create the, the part within that greater scope of things, whereas an actor, you're sort of blinders on moving ahead. What brings you here tonight? My gosh, I'm so happy to be here. I'm uh, I'm presenting this evening with Jake Lacey, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but I, uh, you know, I feel feel great pressure to make sure make sure I uh, say everybody's names right. You know, especially because they're casting directors. You don't want to like, get that you're, wrong. You're like, I do not want to get blackballed tonight. No, I don't want to be the John Travolta of this evening. So. Talk to me about what good casting means to making movies and television. Ooh, you know what's weird? I don't really think about this because I'm always on the other end of things. Uh, Have you ever had a crazy casting situation? I mean, probably every audition is a crazy casting situation. I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about, like, sometimes, some of people have told me, like, they've seen on the breakdowns, like, a Rachel Dratch type. So that's kind of weird if you see that. But then I was, I didn't go in on that. So I guess I didn't get my own part.